Okay, hello, this is Dr. James, and today I'm going to try to replicate uh, Jay Nodden's uh, JNL's Labs. It's a very interesting website. Um, got some cool science stuff on there. Uh, asymmetrical plasma electrolysis. And I have got my own equipment here. Let's take a look. Okay, Nodden's experiment. Uh, they used uh, potassium hydroxide, I think. This is an interesting hydroxide. This is uh, InstaFlow sodium hydroxide. I just put some of this capful, half a capful, part of a capful, into about that much water. I didn't measure it. And uh, just figured I would test it out. So this is what I used for the electrolyte. But you need the water to be kind of conductive for this to work. Okay, and here is the diode that I'm using. Just one diode rectifier. And that is a 1N1185. And uh, I believe some of the specs are on here. Yeah, it's uh, 150 volts max, so we're probably pushing that. 30 amp forward current, but it can have a 400 amp surge. So maybe just getting a high surge. Who knows? I should, could probably put some. Uh, devices on there to measure the current, but that'll be for another time. Okay, okay actually, well, don't mind the black bars. Something happened to my monitor. Here's the circuit that Jay Nodden was using, and here's my capacitor. I have a high-powered diode here, giant variac down here, and let's uh, just turn up the voltage a little bit. Yeah, look at that. The light starts to glow. And uh, the idea is, is the one of the electrodes, the positive one, is going to be mostly in the water, so it'll have a low current density around it. And the negative one, or the reducing one, is going to have a high current density because it's you're going to put very little into it. Okay. So let's put the very tip in. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so no plasma. Well, I'll try. Maybe turning up the voltage a little bit. I've done some other cool experiments with water and electricity. Okay, so I've done some other cool experiments with water and electricity. So this seems like a pretty cool one. Okay, looks like it's getting a little bit more energetic. Still no plasma. Oh, Jay Norden was using a higher voltage than this. He was using like 270 volts. And I'm not sure if I can... Oh, the Variac can go a little bit above 110, but I don't know if I can quite reach it with this setup. Starting to really okay. Still no plasma. Okay, yeah, our light's really glowing now. Oh, it's making a buzzing sound now. Electrodes touch together, that could be bad. Okay, wow. I think we're getting close. Okay. Well, a little 
bit higher. Let's see what happens here. Oh, there we go. voltage. There we go. Look at that. I don't know how high this auto transformer can go, but I'll try a smaller diameter uh, welding rod and see if that helps because I suspect it's the current density that has to be very high. Very cool. Okay, so here's our first tungsten rod that we use. It's about two or three millimeters in diameter. Okay, about 3.2 millimeters. This one here, it's about 1.5. Okay, so it's about half the diameter, so the area is going to be a lot smaller. And let's uh, turn our Variac back on. We'll turn it up to about 110 volts and see if we get a little bit more interesting results with the smaller rod. Okay. Okay, We're very similar, I think, at this voltage. Go up higher in voltage. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's not as high a voltage that we were at before because we we're about here, so that's where the arrow is. Okay. Gotta be very careful not to touch those electrodes together. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, so the smaller diameter and the higher current density really makes the difference. some interesting experiments with this. Go up a little bit higher in voltage. See what happens. Okay, so this is about half the voltage that Nodin was using. And uh, let's turn this thing back down before I ruin something. And here's our capacitor, three microfarads, uh, 
probably, um, what do you call it? It's not electrolytic. He was using electrolytics. This is um, probably Mylar or something on the inside. Rated for 707 volts RMS, so it's a, more of an AC capacitor, which is probably good because it'll last longer when you put an AC on it like this. Okay, very cool. Okay, here to test out the theory that it's high current density that makes a difference, I put a glass tube, I have a bunch of glass tubes here, over the electrode all the way down to the end almost. Okay, so just a tiny bit of the electrode sticking out. Let's see if we can submerge it more in the water. Let's still keep the discharge going. Look at that. Put it all the way to the bottom. Very cool, huh? prevents it from hitting against the other electrode and <laughs> causing an explosion. Okay, and there we are on the voltage. So this is above normal uh, line voltage because the Variac can step things up a little bit. Okay, very cool. Okay, for completeness we probably should measure the voltage of this guy here. See the, this is a little bit above 110 because that's normal right there so this is stepping up the voltage a little bit and uh, let's turn the guy on and uh, we got our voltmeter here. Measuring the voltage across our capacitor here. So we're at about 150 volts or so. Oh, it's dropping for some reason I don't know why. Oh, whatever, 135 volts. I guess maybe this uh, voltmeter is putting a little bit of draw on the impedance. Let me see if it goes back up again if I take it back off. Okay. So 130 volts, maybe. Again, that is the voltage that we're drawing. You know what? Let me um, hook this up while we're running the device and see if the voltage drops while we put it in the water. Okay, we have our voltmeter hooked up to the capacitor now. I have it set pointing above 110 volts. And here is our electrode. I'll try. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Really? Let me get this out from under here. Oh, gosh. I hate that when things get tangled and it's got high voltage on it. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at our... Okay, so we're dropping down to about 40 volts or so. Looks like we're going to it. And it will not make that arc unless it's got the high voltage there. Very cool, huh? Very cool experiment. Okay, anyway, very interesting experiment. This is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.